Welcome to VirtualX Masterclass, your gateway to mastering mathematics grade 12. Today, we embark on an exciting journey into arithmetic sequences, a fundamental concept that lays the foundation for problem solving in algebra, finance, and beyond. I'm joined by an esteemed educator in mathematics, and together, we'll break down this topic into seven engaging segments. Let's get started. Arithmetic sequences are everywhere. From saving money to predicting trends, they help us understand patterns and make informed decisions. Think about a person saving 100 Rand in the first month and increasing their savings by 50 Rand each month. How much would they have saved after 12 months? This is where arithmetic sequences come in giving us a systematic way to predict, analyze, and solve problems efficiently. And in grade 12, mastering arithmetic sequences will help you tackle more complex mathematical concepts, including series, financial mathematics, and real-world applications. Now let's dive into topic one, introduction to arithmetic sequences. An arithmetic sequence is a sequence of numbers where the difference between consecutive terms is constant. This difference is called the common difference, represented as D. Here's an example. 2, 5, 8, 11, 14. The common difference is 3. 10, 7, 4, 1, minus 2. The common difference is negative 3. To find the common difference, use this formula. D equals the second term minus the first term. D equals A of N plus 1 minus A of N. That's a great start. Now, let's move to topic 2. The general form of an arithmetic sequence. The nth term of an arithmetic sequence can be found using the formula. A of N equals A of 1, plus the product of N minus 1 and D, where a of n is the nth term. A of 1 is the first term. D is the common difference. n is the position of the term. Example. Find the tenth term of the sequence 3, 7, 11, 15. A of 10 equals 3. Plus open brackets, 10 minus 1, close brackets, times 4. A of 10 equals 3 plus 36, which is 39. Great. Now how do we find the common difference in a sequence? Let's discuss topic 3. To determine D, subtract any term from the next term. D equals A of N plus 1 minus A of N. Example. Given the sequence 12, 9, 6, 3, let's find D. D equals 9 minus 12. D equals negative 3. That means the numbers are decreasing by 3 each time. This concept is crucial for understanding the sum of arithmetic sequences, which we cover in topic 4. To calculate the sum of the first n terms, we use the formula s of n equals n divided by 2 times open brackets 2 times a of 1, plus open brackets, n minus 1, close brackets, times d, close brackets. Alternatively, s of n equals n divided by 2, times open brackets, a of 1 plus a of n, close brackets. Example, calculate the sum of the first 20 terms of the sequence 5, 8, 11, 14. 1. Find a of 20, a of 20 equals 5, plus open brackets, 20 minus 1, close brackets, times 3. a of 20 equals 5 plus 57, which is 62. 2. Use the sum formula, s of 20 equals 20, divided by 2, times open brackets, 5 plus 62, close brackets s of 20 equals 10 times 67, which is 670. Brilliant. 
Now let's see how this applies to real-world scenarios in Topic 5. Let's revisit the savings plan example. A person saves 100 Rand in the first month and increases savings by 50 Rand each month. How much will they have saved after 12 months? First, find A of 12. A of 12 equals 100 plus open brackets. 12 minus 1, close brackets, times 50. A of 12 equals 100 plus 550, which is 650. 3. Find the total savings. S of 12 equals 12 divided by 2 times open brackets 100 plus 650 close brackets. S of 12 equals 6 times 750, which is 4,500. The person saves 4,500 Rand in total. Let's practice with a couple of problems. First, find the 15th term of a sequence where a of 1 equals negative 2 and d equals 5. 2. Calculate the sum of the first 10 terms of the sequence. 4, 7, 10, 13. Take a moment, try these out, and check your answers in our full VirtualX Masterclass. Let's recap. Arithmetic sequences have a constant difference. Use the formula a of n equals a of 1 plus n minus 1d to find specific terms. Use sn equals n divided by 2 times open bracket 2 a times 1 plus n minus 1 d close bracket to calculate sums. These concepts apply in finance, problem solving and beyond. If you found this lesson insightful, explore the Mathematics Grade 12 Virtual X Masterclass Complete Course. Sign up now at www.virtualx.tv, powered by Dragon Alexa. See you in the next lesson.